how to install the Android 12 stable port from the Google Pixel 5 on the POCO F1 by OOF Gang. Hey peeps, what's up, Manchi here, back with another video. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can install the Android 12 stable port from the Google Pixel 5 by OOF Gang on the POCO F1. Now, what are the prerequisites for this video? Well, you do need to have an unlocked bootloader and you need to have a custom recovery installed. Another thing you need to make sure is that your battery is charged at least 50 to 60%. Do not, and I repeat, do not do this process if your battery is at 20 or 30%. Also make sure you have a backup of all your pictures, videos, anything important which you have on your device because if your device is encrypted, you will have to perform a format data and you are going to lose all your pictures, videos, and anything important which you have on your device so here it is we do have the poco f1 and right now i am running the raven hacks build the first thing you need to do is remove all the accounts and security measures so if you're running a custom rom which is based on aosp you can go into settings security remove your screen lock fingerprint and face unlock once that is done go back go into passwords and accounts and remove your google account now if you're running miui then you again have to remove all the accounts and security measures go into settings and in this case go into password and security remove your screen lock fingerprint and face unlock once that is done go back go into me account and remove your me account once that is done go back go into accounts and sync and remove your google account once you have removed all the accounts and security measures make sure you reboot your device once now the next thing you need to do is know whether your device is encrypted or not so for me ui again you will go into settings password and security privacy herein you will notice encryption and credentials mentions this device here is encrypted which means you are going to perform a format data and you are going to lose all your pictures videos and anything important which you have on your device now if you're running a custom rom which is based on aosp go into settings security and herein go into advanced and you should see something called encryption and credentials so this one here says phone not encrypted which means i do not have to flash disable force encryption and I do not have to perform a format data as well because disable force encryption is baked into the ROM zip. Next up, what are the files which you need? Now, all the files which you need are linked in the description of the video. So for starters, you do need the firmware, which is 12.0.3.0. Now, if you know you're already on this specific firmware, you can skip flashing it. I flash it just to be safe next up you need the rom itself so this here is your android 12 stable build enforcing of course from the poco pixel team which is your oof gang and of course you also need twrp by oof gang next up we do need to boot our device into our current recovery so first of all turn off your device once the device is turned off press and hold power and volume up together till you see the recovery logo so here it is we are in twrp we will go into install and then you will go into download because this is where the files are downloaded if you download them on your phone directly if you transfer them manually you would know the location first of all select twrp by oof gang and then swipe to confirm flash now once twrp by oof gang has flashed successfully your device is going to reboot on its own so here it is we have booted back into twrp and as you can see we are now running twrp by oof gang so we will go into wipe advanced swipe select dalvik cache system vendor and data and then swipe to wipe once that is done we're going to tap on the home button go into install and again go to the folder where you have downloaded all the files in my case the download folder the first file select the firmware itself if you downloaded it if you decided to skip it then you of course won't have the file then we are going to say add more zips and select the rom itself this here is poco pixel android 12 stable enforcing build by oof gang once you have selected the two files swipe to confirm flash 
Now once the files have flashed successfully, we can scroll up, make sure there were no errors. So here it is, we are flashing the firmware and we got script succeeded result was one, which means there were no errors. Next up, we are flashing the ROM. So again, script succeeded result was one. This means there were no errors in flashing the ROM as well. Tap on the home button. Those of you whose device was encrypted. Again, if your device was encrypted, wipe format data, type in yes, tap on the check mark on the bottom right, do note, Format data will result in wiping out of all your pictures, videos, anything important which you have on your device. If your device was decrypted, nothing else is needed. We are going to say reboot and select system. And there it is. We do have the Google boot animation on our device and the first boot up might take some time. So you have to be patient and welcome to your pixel. We are on the setup screen. Let me skip the initial setup real quick. So here we are and we have skipped the initial setup. We have added our accounts and stuff. And as you can see, Android version here is 12. The security patch, of course, is from November 2021. The kernel they are using is Genos kernel. SE Linux is enforcing out of the box now. Once you have updated all your applications from the Play Store, if you want your live translate to still be working you need to go into settings apps see all apps android system intelligence make sure the version which you have is from the pixel 6 if you get the version from pixel 5 tap on the three dot menu on the top right and uninstall the updates it will take you back to the pixel 6 version and of course if you want to update your android system intelligence the apk is linked in the description of the video feel free to update it manually and then when you go into settings and system you should have the option of live translate next up what about your google photos so here and also you will have to update it manually if you download it from the play store you will not get the feature of magic eraser so how do you figure that out download split apk installer again this can be installed without root so download split apk installer from the play store install apks and you need to select internal file picker give it the permission which it needs and then select the google photos apk so this here is the apkm which we are looking for again everything is linked in the description of the video say select if you want to add any more language feel free to do so i will just go ahead and say install and i do have to let split apk installer install apks on my device once that is done go back you might get a blank screen go back one more time it is telling me there was a problem passing the package but the photos application has also been installed so we can ignore the parsing error next up let us go ahead and open the photos application i run on backup and here and we have options of original quality or storage saver let me say confirm skip this initial setup which they want me to learn go into the edit option and hopefully i should have the option of magic eraser bam here it is magic eraser is present let us say next and done it is trying to find some suggestions let me try to encircle this and pretty soon the notch should be erased and there it is peeps that is how you install the android 12 stable port from the pixel 5 by oof gang on the poco f1 and that will do it for this video hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when i see you